Hello, Dr. Kempe of The Hammer Doc. From time to time, I try to share with you some projects that I'm working on. And let me just show you this is a couple of projects that I have on the desk that I've been working on this week and just about completed working on these. Uh, this is a Leslie 147 that uh, I refurbished. I uh, replaced uh, the capacitors, uh, of course, new new resistors in here, uh, cathode bypass capacitor, a new um, wire wound resistor there uh, in place of this cathode here. So the cathode is the new cathode resistor. Uh, new potentiometer, and of course, look at here, solid state relay. This is a beautiful amplifier. I uh, also rebuilt the high voltage rectifier board, and um, so this this amp sounds fantastic. is is humming. And here's another one, Leslie 147, that I've been working on. I uh, didn't need to do as much work to this one as I did this one. Uh, I re recapped it, of course. Still have one more cap to, re to, to replace here. Put in a new potentiometer. I haven't needed to change out any of these resistors. I tested all of them and they all test within limits of uh, this uh, 50 the 256k one watt resistors though 56k ohm one watt, res one watt resistors uh, they do need to be replaced uh, so I have the replacements right here that will go in there and so I'll replace those replace uh, replace this and I'll install a brand new uh, mechanical relay in there. I have let's see motor control relay. I got I have a Trek 2 motor control relay that I could put in there. What is this? Ah, okay. This is a this is a 147. This is a solid state. I could I could put this one in there if I want to. Okay. This is another option. Um, but I'm leaning toward just putting in a, a mechanical I have a box of mechanical relays right there. So I'll probably just replace that one with a mechanical relay. This amp sounds fantastic. Let me let me turn these amps over so you can see what it look what they look like on the front side or on the top side. They are indeed very clean amplifiers. Here's the other one. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Of course, I, I changed out the filter cans on both of these. See, there you go. So the filter can capacitors have been changed out. Um, this amp was blowing, it was blowing fuses. Uh, so uh, I did what I needed to do to fix that problem. Put in a brand new fuse here. Uh, here you see a look, look, look at this brand new fuse cap. I don't know what I, oh, here's the other one. I just, <laughs> look, I just found the, the fuse cap that came off of it. This was the fuse uh, and the fuse, the fuse that was in it and the fuse cap. I was looking for this thing to them like, where in the world did that thing disappear? It was sitting right up here. It was, see, it's black, so it kind of blended in, but here it is. So this is the cap 
that came off of this amp. But uh, as you can see, it looks worn. So, so I'll probably just uh, leave this cap off, leave the new cap, put the, leave the new cap on there, and uh, fuse caps. Let me. I'll just go right over here. Take this worn fuse cap, and toss it in the drawer there. And because I'll have plenty of opportunities. But here's a here's an amp right here. Look, here's an amp that doesn't have a fuse cap to it. So there you go. I'll grab this one. Because this is a this is a a chassis. There's this group of amps sitting over here. Oh, now this one I'm gonna rebuild. I mean, this is gonna this is a future project. This is one to rebuild. Unless um unless I sell it. But uh, I'll put this over here. Let me change hands. Because I am right handed. Now, what is it? I'm not lining this thing up right. Come on, some bite. There you go. Now, maybe I can see it. There it is. All right. I wasn't able to put that thing in there. Okay. So, like I said, this is a future project right here. But I got a couple of amps sitting here. Um, 22Hs. This is a 22H. 22H that I'm willing to sell as is. And this is a uh, 47. Ch uh, ch it's, a, it's a 47. And the, the choke should be uh, good. And the uh, output transformer is good. Power transformer is disconnected. I'm not sure if that was good, huh? That was probably bad. It's been disconnected. Anyway, um, those are oh, uh, as is items. But this will be coming off of here, off of the as is shelf, and will be moved over to my desk because I'm going to rebuild that. Uh, I just I ran out of space over here on my amps. Stand for these. These are the amps that I have to rebuild. These are future projects. So I have plenty of future amp projects, of course. There's my box of motors. My son works on those. All right. This is his station. Okay, so that's what I want to sh share with you. And, um, We'll cut off and till the next time. This is Dr. Kemp wishing you a very, very merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year. Until the next video. The Hammond Doc saying to you. Peace out.